Afternoon, uh, today I'm going to be doing nut granola. It's one of the first recipes that I ever did when I started on this uh, low carb way of eating. And I'm going to be using this book here, which is the Real Meal Revolution. And it's the uh, recipe down here for nut granola, which it says makes 12 to 15 servings. Um, I actually find that it makes a lot more than that uh, because we just use it as a sprinkle. We don't sort of fill up half a bowl and then add something to it. We, we tend to put it on top of uh, yogurt, um, yogurt and berries and things like that. Anyway, I'm going to set up now and I'll be back with you in a minute. So here we've got hmm, 40 grams, give or take, of flaked almonds. So that's one type of nut. So I'm going to add pumpkin seeds, which are not actually in the recipe, but it doesn't matter. Um, so I'll make that up to 100 grams with pumpkin seeds. So it doesn't really matter what nuts you use, uh, so, so long as you've got 400 grams. Okay, so we've got 400 grams, 100 grams there, all together. Um, next I'm going to go with my sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds, let's see what we've got there. Probably go with the whole thing. Oh, there we go. Just got to 100 grams of those. Um, pecan. Pecan up to 300 grams of the pecan. Actually says walnuts in the recipe, but I prefer um, I prefer pecan. There's my pecan. And then finally, my hazelnuts. But my hazelnuts are whole, and I need to chop them a little. So I'll actually put them onto my little chopper here. And zero that down. And weigh those out in here to chop them. I'll do 50 at a time, actually. And all I do there, and chop them. You can use, you can just use a normal board and your normal life. This is just a knife. This is just something that we happen to have. Okay, so that's the hazelnuts all chopped up as well. And the pecan nuts, I just sort of chop them down a bit with my fingers to snap them into little pieces. So just check there's no too big. Mix them all together. And there's your mixed nuts ready to um, toss in your cook coconut oil. Okay, so now it's very easy. I'm going to be taking um, three tablespoons of coconut oil. So three tablespoons of coconut oil into the pan. Just get a little teaspoon out. Okay, that's one. I'm sticky today, obviously not very warm. One. <clears throat> Now, if you live in warmer climes, like when, when we were living in Singapore, this was all completely liquid and it wasn't an issue at all. It just was runny and you just spoon it out. Here in the UK, even when it's 20 odd degrees outside as it is today, um, it tends to stay pretty solid. So three tablespoons of that, of the coconut oil, and we can start to heat that up. Okay, next, um, what we're going to do is add uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, and a big pot of uh, ground ginger here as well. Okay, so that's all melted down nicely. So what we're going to do is we're going to add two teaspoons of ginger. I make quite, quite a big teaspoon. Well, this is half a teaspoon, so I'm going to have to do um, four of these. Three, four. Two teaspoons, so four scoopfuls because I've got a half teaspoon thing here. The one broke, so I'm having to use a half teaspoon instead. Three. Nice, nice big dollop of cinnamon. Love cinnamon. And one teaspoon of nutmeg, so two in my case because I've got a half teaspoon spoon. Nice little pile of spices there in the pan, if you can see them. Okay, so I'm just going to get a spatula. 
and just let these fry up in the oil. gently in the oil for a minute or two and here we're just going to pour the nuts in, toss them about for a minute or so, do some of the seeds popping to make sure they're all nicely covered and that all of the oil and the spices have been absorbed, soaked up into the mixture. Next I take um, a, just a roasting tin and pour. In the pan and just give it a shake. So basically make sure they're all evenly spaced out. So now all we have to do is put them in the oven and the oven is set to 160. So into the oven they go. And they'll be in there for about 10 minutes. So we'll put them on for 10 minutes and see you on the other side when they're cooked. Okay, so that's the beef per gone, so let's see what we've got. Look hooked. Yeah, I think that's okay. So what I do now is I take the mixture and I just shake it onto some kitchen towel. Okay, so I do it in a nice long line. This, evenly spread, and I basically leave that there to cool down for, I don't know, usually about half an hour, I think it takes to cool down, like this, and spread them out. And then later on, once it's all cool, I will put them into these old coffee jars and it'll keep in these old coffee jars for well it's never gone off <laughs> it's never gone off before we've eaten it so you know a good three to four weeks um, we've taken it traveling with us you know we've put it in other types of Tupperware pots and taken it with us when we had a motorhome etc but you never get tired of it it's it's just a, a lovely lovely thing and so easy and quick to make thank you